Well, Malvinder Singh may be stepping down from the board of Religare, but he still nurtures sky-high ambitions for the company. Religare has a $1 billion war chest for acquisitions in developed markets. It's also looking to acquire fund of fund private equity businesses, asset management companies, as well as venture capitalists, uh, Harsha. In fact, Malvinder believes the PE business will be a significant growth driver going forward for Religare. Early, I caught up with him, and here's a slice of that conversation. I certainly think private equity is a huge opportunity. Uh, we would certainly want to be in the private equity space. At Trelegay, we have an education and a healthcare private equity business. Mm. But over time, we are looking at having a much larger private equity play across different sectors mm. and going beyond India. Mm. Uh, and will I that be in your personal capacity? Will that be funded through Relegair? Will that be organically driven? Will that be inorganically driven? Uh, the private equity space, I seriously believe, uh, would be a very good fit within the Relegair umbrella. Okay. For the family, we could be a lead investor mm. and start off the private equity fund by putting in money. How this soon is are we actually going to see this private equity for a kickstart as far as Relegair is concerned? And what kind of money are you talking about from the family side as the lead investor? Well, we've not disclosed all of that, but what I can share with you... I'm hoping you'll disclose some amount of it now. Well, you know, at the end of the day for us, uh, in whatever we do, we want to make sure we do it where we have a significant presence and, we, and where we can drive a bunch of things. Mm. Uh, we today have an asset management business in India, mm. which is close to, I would say, $4 billion. We've acquired Northgate Capital, mm. uh, which is again around $4 billion. So between the two uh, businesses, we have close to $8 billion of assets under management. Mm. Uh, we at Relegate have also, uh, you know, earmarked a billion dollars of, of money for acquisitions internationally mm. to pick up fund of funds, to pick up some private equity, venture capital, asset management businesses. Mm. Let me talk to you about this $1 billion watch chest that you're specifically talking about for Relegate. We've already seen you do acquisitions and these acquisitions have been in the developed markets. Will these acquisitions that you're looking at continue to be in the developed markets or could you possibly be looking at foreign into other emerging markets as well uh, and what about the domestic market as well will this watch have to be used to acquire organically uh, inorganically in India as well well what we've what we've shared in the past is that uh, the way we look at our financial services business I think it's probably easier to break it up into uh, you know uh, asset heavy balance sheet size business and the fee based businesses mm. so when you look at the asset heavy businesses like life insurance yeah. like housing finance uh, consumer funding uh, we will at some point this year launch a health insurance business mm. and hopefully at a point in time launch a non life insurance business coming up next on the show Daimler and Renault Nissan will make a united stand to become the world number one to share technology and production facilities for their small cars